and listen, and your capacity to believe and to buy things with your belief increases exponentially with real Jesus. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Now there is a fundamental business principle say business principle, business principle where you sell to the rich and why would you sell to the rich they have, money. they have the wherewithal to purchase what you're selling yep. does that make sense mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 29 for unto everyone that hath shall be given everyone that hath shall be given and he shall have abundance but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath the rich those who get it have a capacity to hear my followers are r-i-c-h rich are you rich and we just let the poor glean the scraps Jesus did the same don't look at me that way Jesus did the same thing with his parables so that those who would get it would have abundance and those who just got a little bit because they were held back by whatever their weirdness was mm -hmm. would just get some scraps yeah. but the rich can buy what you're selling say I can afford this, can afford this. the poor struggle mm -hmm. they struggle to believe it and they ultimately never get there so here we go Jesus is he a real person or not mm -hmm. you have to answer this question or we can't even go on from here you got you got to take some of that purchasing power you have and go yes I believe Jesus is a real person right yeah. was a real person actual person in a physical body a person mm -hmm. lived paid the price for your sins mm -hmm. right was crucified buried rose again the third you understand this yes. real person say real person real person now we're gonna put the context of everything everything that I say after this into the context of Jesus was a real person is a real person today say today, today. does that matter yes. was a real person is a real person still is a real person will continue to be a real person all right you got to get it right so is Jesus a real person not a concept because people take his real personage and turn him into a concept mm -hmm. with their squirrely theology well I'm gonna go with Jesus is a real person okay mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3 how that Christ Jesus died for our sins according to the scriptures verse 4 and that he was buried say buried. buried can you bury a concept a concept he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures mm -hmm. you see Jesus was very scriptural wasn't he mm -hmm. verse 5 and that he was seen of Cephas that means Peter and then of the twelve verse 6 after that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once of whom the greater part remain unto this present but some are fallen asleep real Jesus 
this really happened he really bore your sins he really was crucified buried you understand this language yeah. and then rose again on the third day and then was seen of above 500 brethren and not only was he raised up from the dead we see that in the presence of these 500 brethren he was raised up from the earth let's look at that Acts chapter 1 verse 9 when Jesus he had spoken unto them these things while they beheld he he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight who was taken up Jesus, Jesus the real person Jesus was taken up while they beheld and a cloud received him out of their sight verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus mm -hmm. what same Jesus the real person Jesus this same Jesus which is taken up what's that word from taken up from you are you here mm -hmm. is Jesus a real person yes. mm -hmm. he was taken up from them this real person Jesus was taken up from them into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven who Jesus, Jesus who was taken up as a real person into heaven mm -hmm. the real Jesus the real person Jesus and who is going to return from say from from, from heaven Amen. the same Jesus say the same Jesus, same Jesus. Same you mean a different Jesus no, a conceptual Jesus mm -hmm. no the same Jesus right yes. mm -hmm. I think I'll go with that have I ever said these things before yeah. am I preaching Jesus yeah. how many times have I had to say Jesus so far before you think I'm preaching Jesus mm -hmm. it's just not the Jesus you want me to preach because I'm saying that Jesus went away mm -hmm. and shall return and if he shall return went away and shall return that means what he's not here and nobody wants to hear that well let's see where he went you all right with us Peter here is preaching on the day of Pentecost Acts chapter 2 verse 22 you men of Israel hear these words Jesus of Nazareth why did he say that because he was an actual person that was there with them and came from Nazareth mm -hmm. Jesus of Nazareth a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you as you yourselves know verse 23 him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God you have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain verse 24 whom God hath raised up having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it who was raised up Jesus. who did God raise up Jesus. Jesus this same Jesus who's an actual person a real person say Jesus is a real person Jesus let's go down to verse uh, 32 to see where he is at now he's raised up Acts chapter 2 verse 32 this Jesus hath God raised up which Jesus the real Jesus this person Jesus hath God raised up whereof we are all witnesses verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted now between chapter 1 verse 11 to uh, Acts chapter 2 verse 33 mm -hmm. had Jesus returned mm -hmm. the same Jesus did they know this where did they think he was with them no. was he with them no. 
therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear talking about the Holy Ghost being poured out on the day of Pentecost where did Peter say Jesus was did Peter know the real Jesus yes. as a person not his concept of Jesus actual physical real Jesus went up into heaven and he said now he is being present tense being by the right hand of God exalted and with the Father they sent the Holy Ghost into the earth are you here yes. now I realize I am wading into treacherous waters here mm -hmm. but so what you need to hear this and I'm not basing my belief on what the Jews believed you understand mm -hmm. because they didn't get it right did they did they did they get it right no and I'm not basing it on what Christians even believe because they don't always get it right they add all of this gobbledygook that confuses everyone let's go look at them they're confused mm -hmm. So I'm not basing it on what the Jews believed or even the Christians or whatever mixture you have to come up with but I'm basing this on the literal words of Jesus mm -hmm. and the actions of Jesus his words and his actions is the foundation and basis of my belief that I'm presenting to you yeah. is that okay yes. there is a real Jesus there is a fake Jesus a magical Jesus a theoretical Jesus a theological Jesus that you have to have people in the ministry to try to get you to understand because it's so complicated so complex mm -hmm. believing and following the fake Jesus will make you and keep you poor in spirit of course but otherwise believing and following real Jesus say real Jesus, real Jesus makes you rich and listen and your capacity to believe and to buy things with your belief increases exponentially with real Jesus because you're not believing some made-up gobbledygook thing mm -hmm. believing the real Jesus is believing on and in the one who went away mm -hmm. because real Jesus went away say real Jesus, real real Jesus, Jesus went, away. went away and I'm not saying these things to irritate people can you understand that because I know I am but I'm not saying them to irritate that I am saying these to people who have the capacity to believe something that everybody else isn't and to buy it so that you can go somewhere that you haven't been before but if you hold on to the fake you'll never get there so we got to kill the fake maybe I should call it that killing fake Jesus John chapter 16 you find it who's saying this by the way it's in yeah Jesus it's in red letters John chapter 16 and verse 7 nevertheless I tell you a lie oh wait a minute nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient or other translations say profitable say profitable, profitable. which means what it, it'd be good for you you can profit by it it is profitable for you that I go away do you understand this language mm -hmm. so if he goes away it's profitable for me if I don't let him go away it's not profitable for me for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you so here we have Jesus saying it'll be better for you profitable for you if he goes away 
we can understand this so far right and if he goes away say if he goes if he goes, if he goes away which means he's not there then he will from wherever he went away to send the Holy Ghost to you mm -hmm. so if he's away and he sends the I realize this I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be but I'm trying to explain it so foolproof that you can't miss it so he goes away and he sends another the comforter we know that's the Holy Ghost I could show you other scriptures he sends the Holy Ghost to you who is with you the Holy Ghost is with you and who is not with you Jesus, Jesus is not with you Jesus said that is a profitable configuration to be in more profitable say more profitable. more profitable it's expedient for you that I go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you if I go away mm -hmm. this happens mm -hmm. well did we see Jesus going away we read it in the book of Acts he done did go away and where is he mm -hmm. in heaven seated being at the Father's right hand and they sent the Holy Ghost so we see this happened but he said if he didn't go away guess who wouldn't wouldn't come to you he won't come to you the Holy Ghost won't come to you so I'm just gonna crack that egg open right now if you're trying to walk around with Jesus you're putting a wall up to the one who is supposed to be with you walking with you the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he'll only go for so far and here it says he won't what's the opposite of that if you let Jesus go he will I testified it is fact so the good news that I am preaching about Jesus is that the real Jesus is not here he did what he said so I'm believing his words and his actions I believe that Jesus did what he just said right here okay I'm not trying to convolute it with my theological explanations real Jesus said these real words and fulfilled these real words and sent the Holy Ghost and I'm profiting by it so real Jesus is not here mm -hmm. he the person of Jesus went away this is what I believe and I profit by it you got a problem with that no you got a problem with this mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is a real person and he the one Jesus and the Father sent to be with us he is here and the, Holy the Holy Ghost is a real person, a real person and, he's and he's here John chapter 14 verse 16 and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another we know this is what happened Jesus went to be is being at the right hand of the Father and he said he will pray the Father so we have Jesus at the right hand of the Father and he's going to pray the Father or request or petition the Father right mm -hmm. did it say Jesus will pray to himself mm. we have a real person named Jesus who's in heaven with a real father mm -hmm. person and he's going to pray or request of this person mm -hmm. not himself and he will give you another well to be another of something what was Jesus Jesus was a real person mm -hmm. they're gonna give you another real person another like me say another, another. Like, me. like me that's why I had to start this with Jesus is a person we all agreed with that yeah. say Jesus is a person, Jesus Jesus is a person. they're gonna send another what person. candy cane yeah. another person okay and who said this Jesus. Jesus I'm not making it up 
I'm not trying to confuse anyone I'm just simply stating the simple say simple, simple. the simple truth because men get involved in it and they try to add all of this stuff and it turns it into something that's unknowable mm -hmm. is this unknowable no. pretty it seems pretty simple I can hear it now oh yeah but yeah but yeah yeah but oh be quiet mm -hmm. so Jesus said he would send another another person and if he sent another did he send another he, did. he sent the Holy Ghost we can know him as a person right mm -hmm. and if he did do that that means he had to send him which means he was away when he sent him you don't send someone unless it's away from yourself does this make sense yeah. so the father and Jesus they sent the Holy Ghost they sent the Holy Ghost away from themselves Jesus a real person prayed to the father who is another person and sent the Holy Ghost away from themselves and he's with us to this day are you here yes, yes. <laughs> am i making this as clear as possible mm -hmm. and if he jesus didn't go away then he couldn't send another and it didn't say he'd send himself no, right. no. that's not what another is no. i'm not going to send another and then me show up and they didn't send the another wasn't the father say the another, the another. Wasn't, jesus. wasn't jesus say the another, the another. wasn't the father, wasn't the father. it was another mm -hmm. who's the another holy the holy ghost and here it again he says i pray the father so jesus is not the holy ghost mm -hmm. get that straight mm -hmm. want to shake something the Holy Ghost isn't Jesus the Holy Ghost didn't come here enter into a physical body be crucified for your sins be buried and raised again on the third day the Holy Ghost didn't do that the Holy Ghost obviously helped Jesus do it but Jesus was the one who did that right the Father didn't do that who did Jesus did that the father is not Jesus all the time Jesus was down here praying to the father he was not praying to himself right. psh, psh. well Jesus isn't the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost isn't Jesus none of this makes sense if that's what Jesus was saying I'm gonna to go to the Father I'm gonna turn into the Father and I'm gonna to pray to myself mm -hmm. and then after I pray to myself for a while mm -hmm. I'll convince myself that I'm gonna send myself back to you and then I'll be the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if that were the case none of this makes sense and Jesus frankly was a horrible teacher is that what you want to believe no. I'm not believing that I'm believing this mm -hmm. that Jesus left which means he's not here and then he prayed the Father and they sent the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is the one with us today in the earth that we walk with so much simpler this is your present situation you are in the earth the Holy Ghost is in the earth with you and you walk with him mm -hmm. and the Father is in heaven and Jesus is at his right hand and shall return say and shall return, and shall return. but your present situation is Jesus is not here the Holy Ghost is and I take Jesus's word for it and let the arguments ensue from every quarter mm -hmm. but that's how I got here where I am today walking with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. worshiping him because he is God that's how I got here by the words and actions of Jesus mm -hmm.
see how I'm preaching Jesus he said it remember he said what he was gonna do and then he did it yep. then I believe it mm -hmm. oh you're confused I don't think so and I'm also prospering here yeah. you don't talk about Jesus enough you just don't like what I say because mm -hmm. I talk about him all the time <sighs> Jesus left you and sent another mm -hmm. this is the gospel yeah. Jesus the real person Jesus is not here not here Jesus the real person this same Jesus shall return shall return means has not yet returned and if he shall return it has to be from somewhere else where is he gonna return to here well then if he's here he can't return mm -hmm. you return from somewhere you go to the store you call up and say what was it I was supposed to get and then you return from the store do I need a chart you can't return from somewhere that you haven't been and this same Jesus this actual person called Jesus shall return from where he went to now everyone likes this idea of Jesus returning but no one really likes the implication of that which means he's not here mm -hmm. and he left you mm -hmm. but he said he wouldn't leave you comfortless are you here and he said this would be profitable for you if I go away and send another person and only by fully embracing this another person who is with us are we going to fulfill everything we're called to fulfill and have Jesus actually return it won't be with a fake Jesus doing fake Jesus stuff no. magic Jesus mm -hmm. didn't turn into the Holy Ghost and say I will send myself magic Jesus didn't pray to himself while he was on the earth no. and I hear him say but but Jesus is God and there's only one God you gonna stay with me or are you gonna you gonna turn it off now you have failed in something so very simple say so very simple so who gummed all this up theologians mm -hmm. Jesus didn't gum it up did he no. he was pretty clear there is a thing called a uniplural noun say uniplural, uniplural. Noun. noun we use it all the time they all the time all the time in everyday life team is a uniplural noun what does a team mean to you like a, a sports team what is a team made up of people people all of the individual people but they're called a team mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. team is a uniplural noun family is a uniplural noun e pluribus unum have you ever heard of that mm -hmm. means many as one mm -hmm. the united states many states acting as one mm -hmm. we won't go into it right now because I don't want to but but the concept is there right it's something we understand mm -hmm. we use uniplural nouns all the time and we don't have a problem with it yet when we start talking about God as three persons say three persons three is why I started it out this way talking about God as three persons religious spirits activate <laughs> like the Power Rangers 
you have failed dramatically right from the get-go Genesis chapter 1 you think God knew what he was talking about when he wrote his Bible do you think he should get it straight especially in the first books mm -hmm. you're kind of laying the foundation aren't you mm -hmm. did you find it Genesis chapter 1 yep. you need some help we'll, we'll go around the room and try to help people <laughs> Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning what's that word God. God now this word God is the Hebrew word Elohim say Elohim, Elohim. and that that is the plural form of God in the beginning God so the, the first instance that we have of God being named in his book he says there's a plurality there mm -hmm. one God but plural are you here mm -hmm. a uniplural noun hey I'm just I'm just a man trying to preach okay go down to verse 26 Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God Elohim said let us us make man in our image you still here yes. let us God said singular God Elohim the plural said let us make man in our image you know marriage is another good example of the uniplural and the two shall become one say the two, the two. shall become one and then they even take the same name mm -hmm. the two become one how about the body of Christ many members one body mm -hmm. say many members, many members. One, body. one body it's the uniplural of the body of Christ one body say one body one body all oh, this concept is so different no it's not stop making it so difficult let's look at another one you all right with this yep. we're still in the book of Genesis he uses this I was gonna look it up and I didn't write it down it was so many times that he used the name to call himself mm -hmm. Elohim the plurality mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 11 you there yep. verse 1 and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech verse 2 and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there and they said one to another go to let us us is another right. uni plural noun let us make brick and burn them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar <laughs> verse 4 and they said go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name they a name. a name plurality of people wanting to make themselves a name mm -hmm. singular name are you here mm -hmm. lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth verse 5 mm -hmm. and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded he came down mm -hmm. to check it out does that mean he was there already no. no he came down he came down to check it out verse 6 and the Lord said behold the people is one he didn't say they are one he said they is one and that's appropriate mm -hmm. because they become one mm -hmm. is this in your Bible mm -hmm. could you say this people is one God said this people is one mm -hmm was that people one <laughs> this people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do now nothing will be restricted from them which they have imagined to do verse 7 go to let us go down us 
God said let us go down mm -hmm. uniplural us let us go down mm -hmm. and confound their language that they may not understand one another. are you getting this yes God called himself an us over and over again and he chose the word Elohim which is plural uniplural mm -hmm. which means more than one actually it has to mean I looked this up in the Hebrew it has to mean more than two all right let us go down the people is one let us go down and I found it curious that when they became one there was nothing that was yeah. impossible for them just like God now Jesus remember him remember still talking about Jesus is this okay mm -hmm. Jesus prayed that we would become one the same as the Father and Jesus are one yeah. are you ready for this I don't know if you are Jesus prayed that we would become one just like he and the Father are one John chapter 17 and verse 1 these words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come did Jesus lift up his eyes towards heaven and say me can you hear me me Jesus is a person mm -hmm. and he's praying to the father who is a person who is where in heaven. in heaven father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may also glorify thee and his prayer goes on here verse 9 mm -hmm. I pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine mm -hmm. verse 10 and all mine are thine and thine are mine and I am glorified in them mm -hmm. verse 11 and now say now. now now I am no more in the world is this in your Bible yes Jesus is about ready to leave he's he's praying to the Father which is in heaven mm -hmm. and he says I'm going to be no more in the world shame on you for thinking he is he said so right here red letters still I am no more in the world but these are in the world so who's he leaving in the world Us. these his disciples are in the world he's no more in the world but those are and I come to thee Holy Father keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me that they may be one as we are was Jesus one with the Father yeah. mm -hmm. then he said I want you father to make these that I'm leaving there one with you just like we are one mm -hmm. <sighs> that they uniplural may be one singular mm -hmm. remember we, we talked about those people is one mm -hmm. they may be one as we say we we what does we mean it means more than one as as we meaning jesus and the father as we are one i'm praying that you would make them one a uniplural one Right there in your Bible yeah but see when do you become Jesus <laughs> when do you become the father you don't become. no you actually never become part of the Godhead of no one would believe that mm -hmm. except some Mormons yeah. Yeah. but we won't go there no. yeah but there's only one God yes but there are three persons one Elohim God yeah. see the Holy Ghost is a person separate and distinct from Jesus mm -hmm. Jesus never became the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost never becomes Jesus yeah. yet they are one 
are you here yep. the Holy Ghost is not Jesus the Holy Ghost is not the Father yet they are one God am I getting this across mm -hmm. together they they are one Elohim God yeah. you in a plural of which the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead who is in the earth today that we get to walk with and no I'm not confused you may be but I'm not and you don't have to believe what I believe also you don't have to go where I'm going but I'm going all the way but if you think that you are in this room that I am in and you don't believe these things then you aren't it is only with fully embracing the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today that we will have the capacity to buy and believe all of the things that were required to buy and believe be fully spent in this dispensation of the Holy Ghost that will cause the literal return of the actual person Jesus the same Jesus who went up on that day he shall return we thank you Holy Ghost for embedding this truth within us and making it so clear so clear that we can hear like a pin dropping it's such a beautiful day to be alive we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen. Amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me Holy Ghost, I worship you. You are the only part of the Godhead in the earth today. And it is profitable for me to know you and walk with you in the fullness of everything you have. In Jesus' name. Amen. Right hand, Holy Ghost, your God.